Hello and welcome. Here we are once again playing the PTU, but this time <clears throat> I feel a little bit better, so I'm gonna be talking as it should be. Uh, go ahead and configure everything. Again. There's a new patch, and every time there's a new patch, you actually should go into your PTU folder and delete the, um, the user folder. So it avoids certain glitches and certain things. So on the PTU, there's a new patch. You should usually should just go and delete your usual usual folder. Always the same folder. So it's a bit sucky if you have custom settings to go back and have to do all the tiny adjustments. Oh well. I don't mind. The BTO after all, we're here to test, aren't we? Not just a... Um, not just playing around. Uh, what am I missing? Missing... Pipe, 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 I did. <coughs> hmm, sorry for that. Now you're probably gonna hear me cough every now and then. Like I am better, but still not tip top. Not tip top yet. Oh, it. Not getting anything? I left the. Oh yeah, I have to. I have to do this again. Hmm. Huh. So I'm gonna have to travel and whatnot. I was not expecting a, a wipe during the PTU, it usually doesn't happen. Usually it does not happen. Not but as I could tell. I mean on the other PTUs I didn't think it. I mean I did recopy my account but I I played yesterday just a bit so I could get to Microtech without having you guys seeing the, the travel again because I had a problem with uh, starting money apparently it was a bug I was not supposed to start with just 300 U credits so I recopied my account and um, I started with uh, 120 credits so from what I got it was actually a random number so if I start with low money I'm just gonna go black screen screen for a while and um, recopy the account let's hope hope I have some money now color my red color there we go I changed the eyes Well, all things considered, going to Lorville, I think Lorville closer, Microtech, because I want to go straight to Microtech again. I'm going to Lorville, I, I haven't even seen the, I haven't really seen the new, <clears throat> the new Lorville. But first impressions from the, the that last stream, I was pretty impressed. Kind of sad that I didn't wasn't using the the microphone, as I sure had some real life reactions to what was going on. Genuine appreciation happening again. Every time there's a new patch, there's usually something that makes me go all fanboy for Star <laughs> Citizen once again. Sorry for that noise. I also have to say, 
that I'm sorry if I sometimes speak too fast. I usually speak fast. I'm trying to slow down, especially for the streams, but I'm sorry if sometimes I just speed up. I need to contain myself. So, new... New Lorville. If I didn't know better, I'd say it has more detail, but I don't want to be lying. As I don't quite... Oh, but I think it does. Could be placebo, who knows. Now I heard sometimes elevator didn't work, but I think it was was only on Port Tressler and some. Oh, I have the bug on the UI, like right there. Good, I'm part of the bug. Good to be part of stuff. Yes. But oh, this bug still happens, the restricted area. I read it on the patch notes, it was supposed to be fixed on this one, I think. If there, were, there was some... Was I guess to start... Oh, no, yeah, okay. I did start with the correct amount of money. I do wonder about these things though. Like... Can I... Oh yeah. Middle mouse click. Just go like F. Now you're like out of the screen. Go like F. He like turns to that corset. But if you click the middle mouse button, the scroll wheel, there's like whoop. It changes the the reticle as well, and it's kind of locked in here. And it's better like sometimes, because otherwise you gotta go. Let me go. Let me go. Because otherwise you gotta go, go like to the the correct distance. Like here. Oh, it zoomed in. What? Is okay. Maybe it was supposed to zoom in before. It was just the just. A, let's try again. Here. Again. Rise to center. I'm still a bit far away. I can look. Oh, there's a limit now. I can look away. Oh, I guess my hands were supposed to be there. Let's step. But I cannot... Okay, then I have to like choose the, the distance before I try. You can also go like this, I guess. Just go close. My hands are almost there. Let's see what it what takes for my hands to be there. This work? Come on. Ah, so close. So close. Oh well. Move. We have a long journey ahead of us. But since I'm here, I guess I'm probably just gonna see. Oh, there is a new spaceport right up there. I'm probably gonna check it. See how different it is from the port Tresla. Tresla. Tresla? Tresla. Now, I don't I don't know if I'm lying, but this looks a bit deeper than it was before. I don't know man, it's been a long time. One of those things that you actually you have like side by side comparisons. Well So we're going to thus Sport. And let me see if they change anything over there. There's always been this thing. I really doubt it did change anything over the hospital. I'm gonna check it anyway. That active over there. I haven't checked this in a long, long time. Let's see how that are the sprites. They didn't change that much. They still have the same animation and everything. This is still, yeah. 
suppose, one of these days. They should, they should start opening these areas soon enough, I mean, before moving on to another system, they should, like, completely make this one first. Open all the, the stores that are still closed, with the final polish and stuff, I really hope they do that. Um, I want to... Oh, I need to buy some armor, actually, as long as I'm here. Take that off, off our list. Master Chief right here. Very Master Chiefy. And I wonder... What will I buy? Sometimes I just mix and match from different armor types, so... I look kinda different. I'm not gonna waste... Much time here today. Just gonna get some... Them... Oh! The new mining heads. There are a lot of them. That. Two. Oh yeah, they have more. Oh, that's a lot of pants. A whole lot of pants. I want the armor, and I'm going for what? What will you buy today? I'm probably going for the Morning Star if they have it. Morning, Star. but Morning Star was. I think I need some good armor. Like what are these? This is medium armor. Medium. I want heavy armor. I'm gonna try to do some... I'm gonna try to solo that 1890 jump like I already heard that the the difficulty has been increased and I never tried it before but I still wanna try it. Nothing like trying it. These are all... I mean of course these are all... I mean these aren't even armor. What? what? Uh, did, did I read wrong? Flight helmet. You'll have damage reduction on them. Doesn't count as light armor. Lighter armor. Give me a good helmet, I need protection. I'm going to need some protection. Ooh. I think I'm probably gonna take this one just because I've seen some people with this armor set and it, it looks so shiny and gold, I love it. Yeah, let's go with that one, since they don't have Morning Star over here. Not going all the way back to Grimex or Portolis or just for that. So, what was the name? Helmet. Ah, everybody's called. Completely. Where was it? There it is. E2 Helmet Woodland. That's the one. Two. Two, G2, G2. They should add, like, buy the whole set. One click and you buy the whole armor instead of just trying to find this. And I don't even know what the pieces are. What goes with it here? Don't see any G2 on the name. Maybe there... Maybe there isn't one? Something else to mix and match? Could be, Joe. No, I don't see it. How about the torso? Right to the end. Bottom two. Venture, venture, venture. And these are what? These are light armors. These are medium? No, still. These. They have the. 
But I gotta go with the color scheme. Come on, was that the only thing? Was there only a helmet there? There only a helmet there. Hmm. What are these? Oh, these are heavy armor. These are the heavy armor. They have storage as well. A DP. A DP. A DP. There's MK4. It's still heavy. Okay. Good. About the only heavy armor I have. Oh, was. I think this is the one. Isn't it? Looks gold, I'm gonna say it is. So I'm looking for the Orc MKV core. Orc MKV. MKV on grey, green, dark red, dark green. But is this the same one? It's not. Uh, there's no more orc. No more orcs here. Trying to make the a voice from the orcs of Warcraft. Something you need doing? Work, work. <coughs> yeah, my my throat. Not much right. Yeah, I think. It's not that bad, I think. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. I'm gonna. Oof. Again, sorry. This is why I didn't, didn't want to, to do a voiceover stream. But, like, I want the gold ones. I want to be all gold and shiny. Is that too much, too much to ask for? I want to be gold and shiny. It's called. Are these the... now? This is heavy armor. Maybe I should just look at the pictures and stop trying to read correlations within the names. Because this one is golden. That's ten. That's not golden. Oh no! This is too. This is light armor already. Right, right. It has to be this one, right? Let's go with this one. Stop wasting time. The torso. Have I bought have I bought the torso? I did not. Looking for a gold stuff then. Which one is gold? I don't see any gold. There we go. That's the Mm -hmm. And the legs. To the cloth simulation. I always wondered why do things in the preview look so much worse than they do after they're equipped? It's like they can simulate everything okay if there's if it's on a character, but once it's on the preview, I don't know why. Reviews are always uh, kind of weird. I passed the golden likes. Mm. I closed, but not it. They're light, and these are still light. This is too yellow. I don't want yellow, I want gold. Any gold. Oh no. Close? Come on, are are there not golden legs? They have to be gold. Purple Mac. Yes, I don't see them, but they should be, right? They're, I mean I have the whole set. Where are the golden legs? My golden legs. Yeah, 
getting sad right now. Wanted to make a set for a change. Or am I blind? Could be blind. Oh shit! Oh yeah, I have to mark this stream as 18 or older, as I have a big potty mouth. Very big potty mouth. Uh, I don't know if I should take these ones. I am not. I mean, these kind of look like they have, they have golden accents. They do. They do. They do. But they're purple. Doesn't go. It doesn't go at, at all with what I have. Hello. I guess I'm gonna just get these ones instead. Because you have every color but the color that I want. These are medium, yeah. The other ones are. Well, so much for being a goldy, golden, shiny warrior. Oh, I tried. Fuck this! As for weapons... For weapons? Uh, uh, weapons? Weapons? As for weapons? Let's get the combat knife, because... I never used the knife before. Let's get some grenades. Too many grenades. Let's get like grenade. Should be able to put like click here and enter a, a, a number with the numeric pad. That would be nice. Or like a plus ten. Oh no, they're called pink quick flares. Multi tool. I won't be using it. I think the salvo. They only have these weapons. Oh god. Okay, I guess they are armor shop. I need to get my weapon somewhere else. Oh, let's uh, look at this. I forgot the undersuit. I gotta change the undersuit as well. Let's see, I'm goldenish. Goldenish undersuit goes. Executive one. Uh, best choice. I don't know. Let's see how the armor looks on top of. It. Come on. Processing times of uh, kiosks are slightly slower than usual on PTU. <laughs> right now, that is. And that's the thing with PTU. Like uh, I, I see many people, uh, even on Reddit. There's many people jumping into the game for the first time and don't think the PTU represents the game. I mean, not even the live. Oh, they changed this. Not even the live version represents truly represents the game, but PTU is usually unstable. Pretty normal to be unstable. Like one patch, you can be. I'm just looking at this because I can finally look at the... I used to have this bug or maybe I was just noob and I didn't know how to change the weapons on the, the things but now it looks like I can I mean I never had this menu before before I had like a little lock, a red lock over here never was able to like click stuff here like I was saying though the PTU is very random I mean, you, you can, like, right now I can have, like, 38 FPS, 35 right here, and tomorrow I can have, like, 20 because they added something and or something got broken. And the day after I can have, like, 50 FPS. I mean, it, this is just general, not actual numbers. But PTU isn't stable. Get used to it. If you're on the PTU and you're playing for, playing for the first time, don't worry. If you have bugs, it's it's completely normal. I did buy two, two cores, I knew it. Ugh, ugh, these legs look awful. I need some new legs. I need some new legs. 
Oh, it's even taking a while to update now. I mean, uh, yeah, there we go. I mean... Yeah, the legs look kind of... Even the chest is a bit off with the color, but it's that bad. Um, hello? Oh, there we go. I'm not really a fan of these legs, though. They look weird. They look weird. Da da da! Eggs. This was a uh, heavy, so heavy. I have to go with something like medium armor. Yes. Yeah, I just just go for these ones and fuck all the rest. They won't go with my color scheme. No, they won't. No, they won't. They will not. Like the best armor, bear, like. There's no better armor than this, like a piece of cloth over you. Amazing, protects you so much. Protection. They're medium, this should be... There's gonna be a little weird, because they're yellow, they're not gold. Uh, like I said before, sometimes I like to mix and match, but sometimes I just... want to have everything that looks the same. An unified person in both mo body and mind. Better light already, yeah, I gotta go up. Cannot wait for them to actually separate as well, like, can go like armor, medium armor, light armor. And then you choose just the base model and then you choose the color after instead of having like all colors of all models just straight up in a um, list. They could have done that already, they did. I mean, uh, I don't think it would take that much of the time. But it's a new UI change. Probably like a day, they, 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 and they'd be done, done with it. I mean, yeah, it's not a priority. I mean, uh, when... And I know this, like, this is a game in progress. And sometimes we are like, oh, I wish they did this right now, or I wish they fixed that right now, like this little thing over here, but... There's no real point to that, because this is going to change, this is not the, the, the final version, this is just a placeholder. There are many things in this game that may look like they're finished or close to, but they're just placeholders. They're just here so that we, as players and testers, this really look. I'm gonna get the black one, and I'm gonna look better. I know, I know, I'm being a bit of a pussy when it comes to aesthetics right now, but... It just looks a bit weird. Like I was saying, it's normal to have stuff broken, it's normal that stuff doesn't look exactly as it should. Oh no, I noticed like my, my stuff moved. All oh, my legs are over here and the arms are... okay. A... Good thing I put those markers on my videos, huh? Unless you actually watch the boring stuff. Like, I thought about doing... Going back to just record everything I do and then edit it. But then I'm like, I see some people do that and not that I don't like it, but sometimes I wish, like the footage... I wish it kept going and sometimes people just cut it and I'm like, ah, I wanted to see more. And it's really only because of that that I'm doing streams and I'm doing streams on YouTube. So that, I mean, I, I, when it comes to streams, I like to just be able to go back and forth the things that I want to see without cuts. That's kind of the experience I'm trying to bring you guys. There, now it doesn't look like a shock of culture. Yay, let's get our asses out of here. Uh, um, you need help, sir? Need help? Oh, okay. okay. It's like the most hardcore staring contest ever. Hmm. 
multiple dimensions of looking at each other. Wish I could punch him. Oh, they're looking at me. They heard me. I better go away. Oh, no. Oh. There are a lot of NPCs around. Any? Any down here? Down here. This was closed, wasn't it? Where am I? Am I? It's been a long time since I actually went down these stairs. But I was pretty sure it was closed off right about here. I was not sure. What? There are trains coming through here. Hmm. Very interesting. I'd like to see another one. Let's wait 10 seconds for the next one. Guess not. I'm gonna turn my back at it. See? See? I knew it. Knew it! But I didn't I didn't even have time to turn my back. But I was like, I'm gonna turn my back and the train is going to get by. And wasn't I right? Right on time. So maybe another 10 seconds and another train. Let's see. 10. Welcome to Station. Oh. Not even got to five. But weren't it did... What? Crazy dangerous, man. I mean, there was a train just coming from that direction to here, and now it came... The See? What the hell is going on here? Does the train only appear in the direction I'm not looking at? If I look here, it's going to appear through the back, and if I look... Or it's just a coincidence. Wait, five seconds. I should get the train going from the, my right to the left. Another five seconds. Oh. Three. A two. There he goes. Oh no, it does, it does come. Alright, it was just a coincidence then. Good to know. I don't like fake shit. Simulated shit for the win. It's the best kind of shit. It looks kind of right in here. Are you the god of food or something? Maybe he is. That's why it's full of people here. Cannot wait to like... Imagine like in a couple of months. Just sitting on a random table and eat with someone else. I mean, not in these positions, I guess, but... Mmm, very interesting, yes. Anywho. I've like wasted so much time just walking around here. Trying to spot the difference. Ah, right now the biggest difference is really the, the NPCs. I think there are many more NPCs around. And most of them are actually doing stuff. Like, like that guy just walked through the table, yes, but he did sit down. That's... the see, he's... Oh, going down the stairs and everything. That didn't happen before. I mean, it did happen, but... Someone didn't set the layers right. Oh, it's a bench inside of a, a couch. That's interesting shit. I wonder if anyone noticed this. Oh, what the? What? What? There's a little gift here. That's so nice. I don't know about this. I mean, I've seen players with uh, presents before. But they were like big boxes and I never really got where the fuck did they came from. But... I need to be right back. I'm going to mark my video as 18 or older because I'm gonna skip saying shit. You know, it's gonna come. So I'm gonna be right back. I mean, it's not like I can still...
I mean, it's not like I cannot still speak. As I can, I guess. I'm still here. Just don't see shit. All going behind the curtain. So, if you're under 18, you should get the fuck out of here because, you know, like I said, potty mouth. Very potty mouth. Like, I've tried to control it, but I'm just so used to, to use lures and stuff like that on my usual language, on my everyday language. Just part of me at this point. Really is. There we go. Applying the restrictions right now. Only viewers over 18 can now see it. I can say shit and fuck and cock and pussy. I can say everything. I'm sorry if I'm a kid sometimes, but hey, that's me. I'm a grown up kid. And we're back. We are very back. Now I can be myself without worrying about saying something. Because sometimes I like I, I I see streamers doing their thing and they go like oh fuck I mean they want to say fuck but they can't. And I'm not here to cater to I mean it's language, it, it's words. Just Ooh, I said penis instead of cock. So I can say penis because it's the correct word for the same thing. It's the same thing. Doesn't matter if I'm using Oh? Be sure to check the current it was like uh the, 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 the yeah the Argo. Not the mole, but it's the Argo. I wonder if it I mean you're not supposed to be able to get inside the, this area anymore so I'm guessing it's placed there by uh, by the team it's not player yeah it's it's placed there by the team if it was a player it, it wouldn't be so lined up with that um, it here quite lined up right there uh. so spaceport where the fuck is spaceport And I'm going to rent me a Cutlass Black. Yes, I am. I'm going to rent me a, class, a Cutlass. How do they call it? Um, the Cutty. I'm going to get myself a Cutty. Everett AJ is requesting combat assistance in deep space. Go, oh, my NPC is just sitting down. Have a look at my character again. Am I, am I looking good? Looking. Oh, I forgot about the other gifts. I forgot about my gift. Where's my gift? Transfer this is my gift. Inspector gift. Mm. Gift. Some sort of uh, interesting shit. Some sort of. Hey. Not there. No, not there. Even like this. And it's like these little Welcome patterns over it. Like a face. Oh, what have I done? Okay, I still have it. I don't want to drop it. I want to leave it in my ship. I'm going to leave it Welcome on my ship. Right on the dashboard. I mean, I don't know how the... The Cutlass... Oh! 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 Okay. Alright. Alright. I really hate miss missing the, the train by like one second. Like getting those doors closed right in Next front of your face. Oh bad. The FPSs are 30. Oh, like I was saying before, even the FPS is the FPS is even the standard performance. It's usually always better on the live version than the the PTU. And at this moment they are oh there's a I can see the moon much better now. Who is that crusader? The moon? What moon is that? What is that moon? What have they done? It looks now so different. What the fuck is that? The spaceport. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. That like... I don't remember the names.
am going to check it. I don't know. I mean, it looks like completely new to me. Never seen that before. What? Hmm. 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 No. Wait. No. Isolated bug. The FPSs are kind of lower though. At least at this moment. Because I was like... I was here like yesterday on offline like I was doing the... the traveling, traveling back to Microtech and, and stuff. It wasn't this slow yesterday. But yesterday it was two patches before this one. Two patches. PTU is almost every day there's a new patch. And they've been quite on it lately. So I want Cutlass Black for three days. Not very relevant really, but if I run out of money I could always just recopy. But it won't be necessary. As three days from now, I am going back to my home village to be with my family for Christmas. So I will be completely off until until the the, the weekend after this one. So I'm gonna get maybe a um, cyclone. I'm not gonna get a cyclone, I already went with a cyclone the other day. I'm gonna go to Dragonfly. Because I think that even if I jump with the Dragonfly since uh, a hover vehicle, hover, hover ve vehicle, it will not explode. That is if I do indeed jump out. Or if I do indeed get to rent it. I don't know if I should wait or try again. Five, four, three, two. Okay. Let's close the and go again, just for to see if it restarts the session or something. Maybe only with the first buy goes through. And any kind of bugs? No? Ah well! Here by the time I get back to the terminal it will be good. But they changed this as well. More orange. as a gradient now. From yellow to orange. Any goo. Give me my drink. Nine, 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 nine. Don't forget the nine. I'm gonna try to get it again. Oh, it does hang even if I'm not there. And I'm almost all the money, only 28k, which leaves me just enough money to buy some weapons. I need to buy weapons. Should have bought weapons before I came here with the train. I mean, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, I choose right. We are closer. Oh, Levski would have been even closer, but I would not be able to rent the ship. Before, when we started with like five millions, you could just buy it, like the Drake Cutlass. I'd just buy it for a million instead of being renting it. Like the tumbrel, maybe it's just the thing that doesn't work. Come on. Yes, I'm sure. Give me my vehicle, please. I give up. Let's go. Anger 9. 
Restricted area. Do I still have? Oh no! I lost my, I lost my present. But I lost my present at the terminal, didn't I? Want my present? Come on! Jesus Christ! Totally forgot about it. I hope it's still there. I guess not that many people are at Larval right now. Everyone's around my attack. I hope the present is safe. Still here. My present. Mine. Mine. It's my present. Mine. What? 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 What happened to it? Did I lose it? No. I just picked it. I just had it. Well, guys, that's it for the stream. Thank you very much for watching. I'm joking, of course. But that was disappointing. Oh, well. PTU. That's it for you. I'm so sad. I just had a present. That was such a good boy. Oh, well. Interesting, I guess. The couple mod on, and there we go. The lightning sure does look different. That sure is off. <laughs> it shouldn't be so bright. Uh, but it's night time. I'd like to see it in. Oh, how does the. How does the area. The danger zone works now? The fly zone. How does it work? Below, but you don't actually show where I. Whoa! Wait! Autopilot already! What a. F okay, now I kind of prefer when I could see the boundaries. Like, I wasn't that low. Was I? I wasn't that low, but I can still go through the building, right? I can't spot! 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 
That's bullshit. So they increased, the, they supposedly increased the, the area at, in which you could fly freely, but they removed the ability to go through that building? Or maybe just because I'm low, let's try to throw... Let's try to go a bit upwards, or we go downwards. After all, maybe there was a little, just a little happen. Fuck me. There you go. All right. All right, yeah. Good thing you didn't get me mad. Cause I was about to get mad. Well, I guess we'll go in that direction. Go where the sun is. And... Oh, they increased the camera speed again, good. It was so slow to move the camera on the, the previous patch. Oh, it goes much further. Oh, it goes much further. That's nice. Nice. Very nice. It does look different. Now we have hills and mountains in the distance. Everything used to be so flat. There's our little weird planet uh, moon over there. There's another moon over there on the left. No, that's the weird one. That was the weird one. That's the one we gotta check. Are there other uh, rounds that I can see? There's one there. I mean, I'm seeing there there. You're probably not seeing it because I know where I'm looking and you don't. Like, oh, there's another one there. Right. Let's let's check it. Let's check it. Let's check all of them. So we have this one. It's probably what? It's the, the one that we did see before. And I had another one right there. I wish I knew them just I could say this is that and that is that. The names, I, I don't know the names. Is that one or was I imagining? No, that's nothing. I think there was... My like Kirsten has, what, three moons? Four moons? We have Ma... Yeah, three moons. But this one that I just looked at was Aberdeen. And the weird one is Ita. Yes. I guess we are going to Ita. And the other one is Magda. Well, Magda looked very good on the previous patches. I wonder how it does look now. Hmm. Hmm. So weird, the camera is so far away. I'm not used to this. Let's keep moving, though. You can actually see like the different layers of fog throughout the mountains and hills. Very nice. And if you look at the horizon line, you can actually see the rotation of the planet in real time. Like focus on uh, like a star or a dot on the sky. Moving. I mean, it's not the guy that's moving, of course, but you. How fast are we going? Mm. It looks nice though. Now, now, now I guess people can do shots like these. Just completely... With nothing. Not your ship, not yourself. Just the view. The yellow area is, is getting a bit 
I mean, I'm trying to forcing us uh, to force a, a sunrise over here. Basically. You can still see the the well, I had to speak, didn't I? You, you. I mean, I just got over the, the distance the, where I cannot long, no longer see the the signs. We're in space? Yes, we are. Oh, overheat, really? I'm not used to flying this ship. What the hell happened to the shed? It's so long. What the hell? What the hell went wrong there? So, wait, how's our sunrise doing? Almost there. It's, it's, I don't know if, if I'm even going the right direction, but maybe I'm trying to, to fight the sunset. It's going the other way around. Let's go up for, um, upper into space. What's that? Oh, okay. He's new though, didn't look like this. And it looks weird at the moment, but I guess some tweak. Oh, there's the sun! Now if I wanted to... Uh, let's see... Orientating yourself in space is, is not easy, you need practice, but eventually you'll get the hang of it. Like, not, not even I know how I did this, I just managed to, <laughs> to look at it quite fast. I get lost, man. Space it can be very disorienting. I want to go to the other side, though. I want to see how this planet looks now with the... Uh, I can still see the city from here. Well though. Uh, to my right, wasn't it? Is it is. Oh, it actually loads in as I... It's nice. Now they just need like to add this, like a texture that simulates the lights that exist, so you can see it from far away. Now you can be like, oh, you cannot see it from far away, but you can see it when you zoom in. They should be able to see it from all the way over there, and yes, you should, and you will. Give it time. This is a new planet. It's a new tech. Okay. Uh, let's get over to the other side of the planet, though. I want to take a look at the bright side. And let's go like this. Oh, it moves so much better now. Much better. Too bad it. Oh, there's a square there. What? Is there? Is there a square there? That kind of bug I'm looking at. Oh, the couple doesn't make a noise anymore. Should. Totally should. To go over there, not there. There. 
where we want to go. Am I far away? Maybe I'm too far away. But there's actually something there? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get a bit closer then. <laughs> I'm really far away. <laughs> I'm too far away. Oh, no, there's no bug anymore. That's not fun. That's why we can see the ground so clearly, though. Oh, clearly, very clear. That's weird. I mean, weird in a good way. But this just makes scouting that much better, because you can just go like have an idea of what you're going to have when you get to the ground. I'm like, I wonder where the forests are on Hurston. I could probably spot them from here now. Did that? <laughs> they kinda look kinda greenish. Is that the, are those trees? And this looks like little greenish points over here and there. I don't really. The, there's a bit of ghosting going on in this patch. I noticed, like if you look at the engines, the upper part of the engine, the white part. When I move my camera on the other way, like right now, like you can see ghosting, clear ghosting. Very clear ghosting going on with the render. I'm gonna say those are trees. Let's watch the tree. Let's bet they are. Go speed ahead! Alright, now you have the. Little warning panels. Power heat, power low, weapon heat, thrusters heat, down, cooling fail. I have no idea what, what this means. Maybe it will be for the cooling systems if they get broken. Measle warning, what is this? Miscellaneous? Miscellaneous warning? Red Dead Redemption lock? I don't know. <laughs> RDR, I don't know. Phantom fail, proximity warning. I forgot to keep spinning up. Go oh, 114. 114. Four. Me 4. Doesn't want me to leave with the 4. I'm gonna say that counts. Maybe there was another quantum marker that I should have taken to be closer to the ground. But since we started this journey, I guess we're gonna keep going. But yeah, quantum travel really takes you places. Otherwise, if you just go at the normal ship speed, it does take a while longer. I'm starting to doubt if there are any trees there. Now I want to like compare the trees at Lorville with the trees at Microtech. And I haven't seen either, so wonder if they just change the color of the actually... They're different trees, aren't they? I mean, Microtech has those pine trees, I think, and these ones are not exactly pine. Also, I don't know. Taking that into consideration, are there any trees here? I don't know. 
It looks green. It does look green. Still not sure. Still not sure. When I get to a 100 subscribers, and by the way, if you're not a subscriber, please do. And oh, I got an SMS. Like I was saying, oh, I need to. I'm just gonna mute the microphone, but I'm still going to play. Oh, there, there are trees there. Because I need to make a quick phone call. I'm still here for all intents and purposes. I also forgot to leave this in cruise mode. I was losing speed and I forgot about it. Sometimes I think I'm in space and I'm not losing speed anywhere and then I remember, oh, there's atmosphere here. Of course I'm losing speed. just going to land first and I'll leave you guys with a bit yeah that, those were trees I were right I was right those are trees now let's pitch and keep moving down and they'll land there because why the fuck not that's our speed 100 altitude we need to start slowing down and here we go. I have like very vague memory of what this was supposed to look like. But it does look better, maybe? I mean, why am I landing? I don't need to land. Oh, the ghosting is still happens on the sea right there. The, I mean, it doesn't happen with the... Uh, has to do with the planet deck, does it not? Because it doesn't ghost on the the rest, on the skybox, the, the pseudo skybox, because it's not really a skybox. I mean, for instance and purpose, it is a skybox, like those stars don't exist, it's just a... Texture in the distance. But yeah, that that does that, that, that look weird. It was already happening on the previous patch. Now it seems to be more pronounced. I do wonder. I do wonder. I gotta check the spectrum more often and, and do some more bug reports. It's a very it's a very strong fallacy when a player sees a bug and we just assume oh it's it's a bug like other people would have been surely to report it but the the way it works is actually the more reports a bug has the more attention it has and the the quicker it's uh, likely to get fixed because the way that bugs work bugs are nothing else then the, the, that's something that a programmer overlooked because when you program something, when you make an algorithm, when you make an architecture for something, you gotta foresee certain specific conditions. And sometimes you just don't because you, you cannot possibly account for every single variation of uh, your assets and everything else. So sometimes when bugs occur, it's actually because either one of two things, either the code was badly made or something was off or a variable is where is not supposed to be or whatever or it's just something that people forgot about like oh I didn't account that players will be able to put this box in that place so now we have to cover that place so players cannot do that anymore because it's not supposed to happen but that's all that's all it is like sometimes do not expect them for to account for everything. Like sometimes you just put something in the game and you think like, oh, it's going to be okay. It's not going to break everything. It's going to work fine, and it doesn't. Because then you remember that if you do this, that variable gets affected, and it's going to affect that other system, and you have to mod that other system in order to be compatible. 
and it's a huge mess. Like, I feel like I'm talking myself. I'm speak, speaking about myself when I'm programming alone, let alone with a team of thousands and thousands of people. Coordinating huge teams is not easy. Like, remember the the game from the the Alien Alien Marines something. It came out like a five years ago or something. The, the game came all broken. It was a huge news piece because, and this is, it happens, maybe not on this scale, but it does happen. The, the game had the, the, the alien AI broken, completely broken, because somewhere in among those lines and lines of, uh, I'm just gonna land here. Amongst those lines and lines of codes, there was one word that had one extra letter, or it had one few letter, which was the um, uh, something to do with the leash that defined where the aliens were supposed to patrol and move the air around. And there's what there was one little variable that had one little extra letter, and that was enough to fuck everything up. And finding that letter, and knowing what, where he was looking for it, like in thousands and thousands and thousands of lines of code. And it was just a, a button mispressed. And the game was broken for, for quite a while, until they found out that it was just something as simple as that. They started looking at everything, at the architecture, at the, at the systems, at possible bugs with hardware, everything, and then it was like, oh! There's, there, there's a missing letter there. One letter, one character. More than enough to ruin a game. Programming is not as easy as a lot of people think. Like, simple programs are simple, that's what they are. But large scales can become really complicated. The hardest thing I've ever programmed was... Um, a Rubik's Cube, a Magic Cube, whatever you want to call it. Before I started, I thought like, ah, this is easy, I just need to do this and that and that and this and uh, I'll be able to do the, the project really fast. And boy, was I wrong. It was so hard to program a Rubik's Cube, it's so much harder than it looks. Rotating the faces in the correct order, in the correct way. And I was doing this not in a, in a 3D, because if it was a 3D Rubik's Cube, it would be easier. I, I mean, I, I get that now. I was doing this in um, in text, in MS-DOS command line. It was the project we had to do it like that. It was not an option. But I went a step further, and I added colors and stuff like that. No one else in my class did that. I think I'm a good good. Very good, good person when it comes to programming and stuff. At least from my peers and what I see around me. I think I'm a good... I'm a very logical person. But yeah, the, I mean, looking at how the things are right now, I, I, I dare to say that they have higher detail than before, but then again, I'm not sure about that. But it does look like the the color scheme it blends better. Like the I don't think that the trees don't look so out of place. They're they're better they have better lightning now. I mean the the foliage on the trees not perfect as a bit of uh a bit of uh, color gradient and needs to be fucked. The uh, fucked lol needs to be fixed, not fucked. But that could be just because I'm looking from far away. Yeah, they look much better up close. But the colors kind of blend; like they don't look so different when they're far away, like right there. I mean, I cannot zoom; otherwise, it's going to zoom in uh, to load in the the better assets. But when they're far away, you cannot really tell. Maybe not supposed to, I'm just being a little bitch right now, baby. But damn, does it look good. It does look good. 
And the frames are not bad. What 50? 45, 50 frames. Uh, but I mean, just a shout out out there for the people that have lower end rigs. You can still play this on a lower end rig as long as you at least have an SSD. That's all I am going to tell you. Please have an SSD. You can have like you can play this with eight gigs of RAM. It's gonna be kind of slow and it's gonna be you're gonna be missing certain details on the on the horizon and on the objects because you don't just don't have enough RAM to load everything in. But you can play this on. Um, an 8 gig and on a 4 core 4 thread I tried it uh, on the, my girlfriend's laptop before I had my own computer she has a GTX 1050 with 4 gigs of VRAM that's another thing at least 4 gigs of VRAM and that is playing the game at a lower resolution and uh, like 720p, maybe 1080p at most. I don't know what kind of performance you get nowadays. But you can still try the game in a... I mean, I'm not saying like go buy the game and try it. I'm just like try it when you have a chance if you have a friend that has the game. If there's a free, free fly event on, you should give it a try if you can. I would not advise buying it right now unless you go for like the most basic package because it's still a lot of work ahead and I guess most people won't have the patience to endure certain aspects of testing a game while it's being made but hey not deny it it's already more amazing than everything else I've ever seen. That it is. Like right now, you see that the trees disappear. But that can be solved easily, like... Uh, there's no point... There's no point in polishing your content if you're probably going to change it or iterate on it soon enough. Because there's no point in like making long distance... Like you could just make the trees have uh, like pop out like from this distance but they have like a lower very low resolution but it, it, they cannot do that yet because it could not be accurate because you need to to actually have like the precise image of, of a tree on its precise point and being able to see it from space or something like that right now is really not worth it because because they're just being scattered around in a, a generated way uh, but I guess eventually you could just take that like, let's say this is the last version, they, they're not gonna touch Hurston anymore. And you could just know, okay, this tree is here, this tree is here, so this is where they should be when looked from very far away. And they can then add another layer to the world texture, to the global texture. Oh, that looks interesting. Let's go over there. What's going on? Oh, he overheats a lot. Maybe because I'm above the limit, I don't know how this works actually. I'm too used to flying my 300, I it never overheats. And then I really only brought, brought the Cutlass so, the, so that I could do a quantum travel faster to Microtech and... I guess I'm still wasting my time here. I mean, the engines... have a maximum speed of 300. The heat goes up like this as long... And it's above the limit, right? Because it's still trying to move on. But if I put the limiter here, going up, still going up. I like to find like a middle ground. I'm not really advancing too much. Like here, it starts to to decrease. Yeah, I need to find the sweet spot with this ship. In case you don't know, this is the heat of the engines right here. This number. The, um, I forgot, this is energy emissions, this is uh, infrared stuff, I don't remember. But this is like the heat of the engine. I need to go back because I got distracted. Let's go back. Oh, now the look ahead does kind of look better. Feels better. 
bit still a bit too strong, but it looks nice. The hills are alive with the sound of a cutlass plaque. But oh, this looks very nice. Does look very nice. Like this sort of depressions and very steep hills. That's oh, that's a little bug right there. Right there. Right, was I seeing stuff? No, there is. Right there. I usually have a good eyes but this kind of shit. I'm a video game developer after all. I mean a student. I'm just a student. I haven't made any real games. I mean not that I think uh, worthy enough to share with the world. Just small shit here and there. I was almost part of, well, I was part of two teams that were almost making a game. Uh, but it didn't happen. Oh, there's someone around. Someone just flew by me. Like these hills, they do look, I'm gonna take a closer look at these new rock formations. This one's over here. And these ones kind of look like the same one. But those are kind of blackish. I don't know. Just want to take a look at the texture up close. Am I decoupled? I'm not. Okay. I wish I could tell just from, from looking at this. Good enough. There's a texture blending mismatch right here. Here. These are floating a bit. Because they, they changed how the um, how the terrain is formed, but they did not change how the scattering of objects. At least I don't think they did. I don't think they touched that. But this, is, this is something that I really don't like. Like, I'm, I'm away from my ship. I should still be able to talk to people that are inside my ship, right? I should have a permanent chat that attach, that's attached to my ship. Permanent. Whether I'm far away or whether someone else is still has stolen it, I don't care. I mean, if someone else has stolen it, it would probably be logical that they'd lock me out. So, on that case, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I should be able to talk, like, if someone was in there, if I had passengers. I mean, I could just make a group chat, sure, that works. But there's the, the channel. This, Am I watching... is this dust? Am I watching dust around me? Hmm. 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 I wish I had a camera, which was something that I was about to say. When I reach 100 subscribers, I will start asking you bitches for money! Yes, yes, much money to buy a webcam. That's that's all I'm gonna do with the money. My plans would be 
starting a streaming channel if I get some attention from people and if I do I'd ask them to buy me a webcam so you can see my pretty face also it's always good to, to put a, a face to the voice and I only didn't buy a camera with my computer because I think webcams are so fucking expensive I mean a logic logitech one 1080p cost me 100 bucks 100 euros euros how, how, how do I say euros in Portuguese, we just say euros. Euros. Uh, to the next. But I, I mean, 1080p, 30 FPS, and it costs 100 bucks. If I want a 4K camera from. I have the Logitech one, and that's 200. 200! I was like, fuck that, I'm not gonna spend so much money on a bloody camera. Let alone, I'll probably never use it, if I've ever used it, it would be exactly for this purpose. Streaming and Star Citizen. So, I decided to leave it like that. If I get any success, I will then get a camera. Let's go to Microtech, let's go to Micro. No, 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 I want to check the moon first. I forgot about the moon. Ita. Ita, was it? Oh, this shit looks so good, though. Look at that. Looks so much more realistic now. So much more like the, 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 the ridges and the cannons, they all... They look different. That's the main reason, actually. They look different. They're not swiggly in the same way. They're sweetly in different way. And the way that the image just holds up, like you almost see no popping. And the idea is to eventually have no popping in at all. Just all smooth. In a way that you won't be able to see the transitions between various levels of details. But it's shit like this, man. The game looks amazing. This is not even its final final form. This is, this, this is nothing. This is, this is nothing. They're still going to change a lot here. And that's crazy. To me, as a, as a, as a player, as a, as a gamer, as a, as a student, uh, it's, it's just... Completely and utterly crazy what they're doing here. God damn. Like, I just think to myself, if I was programming this, if I was making this game, if I was part of it, if, I, if you told me, like, make a planet like they're doing on Star Citizen, make what they're doing with the scale, I, 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 I don't know. I wouldn't even know where to start. I mean, I have to start by studying the difference between 64-bit precision and 32-bit precision, because that's the key component that makes them being able to do everything around this scale and level of detail. But I really, apart from that, I, I wouldn't know. Really wouldn't. And I think I'm a good programmer, and I feel like a, like a baby next to them. I'm a total baby next to them. They're, they're really doing some amazing stuff here. The game. Not CGI, it's not pre-rendered. It's there. I go like, I want to go to that spot. I can and it's there. It's crazy. I think I'm far enough. I don't know if I should keep... I mean, sorry about that noise. I'm going at max speed. Mm. 
I should have like a, a nice song on the background going, but I don't. Let's imagine I have one. Like at this point it doesn't even look like I'm moving, but I am. Hmm. Well. Get to move on, otherwise we're never going to get out of here. I can go forever and just moving into space. Anywho, so our first candidate was a very weird moon. I'm gonna see if I can find it on the by looking. There we go, some music can get in. Bit late, but okay, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes I just, just don't care about stopping the ship. Why isn't the quantum working? Quantum! Aren't you working? Am I bugged? I think I'm bugged. Let's... Whoa! There we go! Ooh, bat token. Let's go to the bat token. I want bat token. Give me bat token. I have to restart the game, don't I? I think I do. I do. Alt F4. And let's go again. I'm gonna leave it on best. I don't know. I probably always go to Europe because I am in Europe, so. But sometimes I'm like, what if the Europe servers are full and I still get better performance and it redirects me to. I mean, it doesn't make much sense because the latency would be much higher. I don't know how it works. I honestly don't. So just, it's best to leave it at best, I'd say. I don't know. And if the server actually is very far away, you're gonna have more lags, so it's not gonna be good. It probably always just goes to Europe, it makes sense that it goes to Europe. Now there's only one thing that can make this better and good again, and that would be present. I want a present. I'm not going to be able to find look. I'm going to say that that present that I found before was probably left by another person. It was a weird spot for it to be in. Elevator? Coming. I didn't notice this thing above it before. Was it there before? Or, I, or am I just really blind? Because I totally did not see that. There's a song different. Is this a different song? Oh! 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 I never knew that I could actually see the... The new deal, ship stand, oh, full of garbage, okay, of course, of course. 
yeah, I didn't know you could see it from there. I have a very bad uh, geolocation, if you will, right now. Okay, it's not like I haven't played, like I have played this game over and over and over and over and over again. Can you go here now? Is there something here? You can! Where does this lead you? Oh, you could go here before. You indeed you could go here before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anywho, we want. What do we want? I think I'm just gonna go for micro attack. And I'm going to end the stream at Port Tressler for now. And this will just be like a Hurston video because I did spend so much time in Hurston. So I'll just quantum travel there and leave my ship at the port. And that's where we'll start our next stream. Which would be either later today or tomorrow. Next stop, Tisa Spaceport. Tisa Spaceport. And yeah, the caterpillar is totally, totally broken right now. Even if you just... You don't even need to see it. If uh, you spawn a caterpillar with cargo, all players around you will, will have low FPS. Because the... I, I don't know this now for sure, I'm assuming. The object board. container Please streaming is... Doing, um, is streaming every box as if you're actually looking at them presently. And it's probably loading them into the memory, and it's probably doing that in multiple instances even. That's why it gets like 2 FPS's. Because it's probably getting overlapped. Like people like, if people like space tracking, of course they will space track, even if it's, it's the PTU. People do. That's the thing with this game. If you don't want to do. Is it okay? How many? Three minutes. Should we wait the three minutes or should we go with this one? Mm. I mean, at the end it will be. Just the same, and you already know what I'm gonna do. Just gonna fill in more of the time, just quantum traveling there. Like, I, I, I didn't the stream right now, but you never know what's gonna happen. You never know what can happen. Like, I, 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 nowadays I rarely play without streaming, but the few times that I actually do, I'm like, man, I wish I was streaming that. By the way, this is a tiny easter egg in case you didn't know. That's how you get in here. Because you can get in here. And you can be like watching... Oh, there's a bug here. Oh, ha ha. Oh, ha ha. Can I go to the geometry? I don't think so. Oh ha. See, this is what I mean. Never know what can happen. <laughs> this didn't happen before though. This is new. I've been here before. I mean, the, you, you are not able to watch to look through it. I mean, for all intents and purposes, you're not actually supposed to be in here as well. Oh, uh... Circuits. This is this shit, this shit right here is hard as shit. Circuit logic can be really... Really hard to learn. But once you get it, it starts making sense, but at the first time... You look at this kind of shit, like ships, the, the, 
where the info goes on the, what does this mean and the nands and the shores and the bleh. oh mm, interesting 69 yes I'm a kid I'm a 30 year old kid and I hope I'm a kid for the rest of my life I really do I mean I uh, I think I have a pretty strong imagination because of that or at least the other way around. I'm still a kid because I have strong imagination. I don't know how it works. Bureau of Shipyard Development! Isn't it missing an E? Development? Develop? Dev? Developer? Yeah, it miss it's missing an E. 97 degrees! It's not, not even at the max! What kind of coffee is this? It's like steaming coffee, that's for sure. Ta -da. You just go like here, you run and jump. Like, let's see on the... Jump, wait. You jump. No, I cannot do it in third person. There we go. And yo. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? Book. Let's see if I can rent the bloody. I mean, I'm on. I am on another server now. So, I am on another server. Can I fly the dragon? Fly? Yes. If I can, I'm going to do something before. I actually. Doesn't seem like it though. I wanted to get the dragonfly off the Cutlass Black and just jump out into a canyon. I don't want that much. I want simple stuff. Oh well. Gotta wait for the next patch, I guess, which should be later today. The last one was 10 hours ago. Oh, I forgot whether... Well, at this point, might as well just take the... Take the Drake instead. Finger 9. As the Drake has a faster quantum travel than my 300 eye. Is it faster? I don't know if it's faster. Supposedly it is. I have the Expedition one. And I think... Atlas has the Odyssey. The Odyssey Quantum Drive. I forgot the hand. Was it 9? I think it was 9. I'm not sure. But as I know, it goes like this. The bigger the ship, the faster the quantum travel, but the slower it is and everything else. Like, the, in atmosphere and stuff. The smaller the ship is, the faster it is, the, the nimbler it is. But when it comes to quantum travel, that's where it's slower. I don't know, I think they changed the, the quantum time travels. Uh, quantum travel times, I mean. And I think they are faster now. But before, like on me, on, on me 300 i it would be like... Would be like 16 minutes. Depending on the distance and not, but like going from Portoisar to Hurston or Arcorp, it would be like 15 minutes, let's say, 15? But if I was on something like a Drake Cutlass or a, a 600 eye, stuff like that, I can go down to like 8 minutes, it's almost half. From the smaller ships to the bigger ships, the biggest ones, like double the time you take. Let's say so you take 5 minutes on the tree and high moving quantum travel from one place to another. Take 5 minutes there, then it's going to be like 2 minutes on a... On a normal... On a bigger ship, I mean. What did I want to do? I wanted to check... The name of my quantum drive. It is the Odyssey. The Odyssey is above... I think it's really almost double the, the one I have on the tree under die. Have they opened it? They did. Sometimes they don't speak now. Kinda sad. 
I like them when they speak. Oh, it's sunny now. Good, 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 good. See, some something good came out came out of this. Is it sunny or is it sunset? I have no idea where the sun rises here. The least I can say is that it always arises on the same spot because it's nice. I guess eventually it won't because right now this is how it goes. The sun is actually faked. There's nothing there. There's just a, a bright yellow circle in the sky that's always facing you. So even if you do get closer, like I did on the previous video, if you do, even if you do get closer, you don't really see any difference. It just it's just a static mesh in the, the sky. Right now, the planets do rotate on themselves, but they do not orbit the star yet. I'm guessing they're probably gonna do that when they actually physicalize the sun and uh, do proper texturing and shading of it. Because right now, if you get close, this is what you see. This is actually what you see. Maybe a little bit... It doesn't have this gradient like it has on the star map. It's all, like, white. All white. It's a big white ball. But soon... Soon enough, you will witness greatness. I kinda wanted to go down and do a close fly, but I'm going to do that, fuck god. Probably going to crash because of the autopilot shit. I don't care, I'm gonna try it. I need to see how close you can get now. I heard you can get closer. But I'm still wondering how close. Oh! Restricted area below, and there it goes. I want to get closer. This ain't fun. Come on, you can get so much closer in Microtech. At least the autopilot does seem to work much better now. I mean, before it just kind of went like whoa, whoa, and tried to fly you out. Now it just goes like the opposite direction, flies up. That's how it should have been always. Uh, but it looks. It's much more unified the way that everything looks. It feels more, more natural. I, I like. I, I don't know if I'm imagining this or not, but it, everything feels much more natural than before. I wish I could just go close to that. See that little thing over there. I want to, like. <laughs> Oh, I'm pissed! I'm pissed! I'm gonna go there! Full speed ahead! I don't care what happens! Let's go! Am I crashing? Yeah. Now, I don't know how the fuck did I crash. Maybe I really went below the area? Oh, another 30k. Uh, what was I doing? Clone through the no no fly zone in Lorville and exploded after auto pilot engage. And that's it. Actually, considering the time and considering what just happened, I am gonna take a break and I am going to resume our adventures later today or tomorrow. But I am very pleased with the way Hurston looks. Really, him. Thank you for your submission. Anywho, see you soon and thanks for watching.